You had Black Winter Festival on Thursday, but little did we know that this is a continuation of the nectar which we had there. So, and looking at the deities, they look so mesmerizing. So, glories to all the devotees who've been working so hard and making such a wonderful arrangement for everybody. Bebo. 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 So I was just contemplating that, you know, this is uh, the Earth's Day of Lord Gauranga, which is uh, Thursday and today. So uh, it just occurred to me beautifully that, you know, Gaura Chandra is a uh, lotus moon. Uh, he's a lotus-like face lord. And he appeared in a place called Nabdiv Dham. Full moon of Lord Gaura Chandra there. But how did he spread the mercy everywhere else there? He did. He was there. But how does moon spread the mercy? He spread the mercy through rays, right? So the rays of Gora Chandra is who? Our Acharya Varga. If Prabhupada, Narayan Maharaj, they didn't come here, and those rays come here, and what does moonlight to Prabhupada say in purport? That the moon rays goes, and when they fall on the plants or vegetables, they become juicy and become fruit. So we were barren hearts of our all, hearts were all barren, dry creepers. But the mercy shadow of Goranga Mahaprabhu through Acharya Varga came and fell on our dry heart and it become full of juice and fruits basically and it's completely giving love of food so that so this is mercy of our acharya varga this is why we are so special our goddess and stan is so special that acharya takes so much precedence so much kasht to come all the way from <coughs> india to spread it here this is mercy of that and we are so grateful to all of them for coming there so I was just uh, contemplating, there's a book called Chaitanya Chandra Amritra. So beautiful verses on Lord Gauranga's glories itself. So in 15 minutes, we'll, ch ch we'll say, just say a few glories of him. And then after that, we'll have wonderful Kirtan for that one. So it says that, um, verse 22 in Ch uh, Chaitanya Charitra Amritra says that, Acharya Dharma Paricharya Vishnu Vicharya Tirthani Vicharya Vedan Vinana Gaur Priya Pada Seva Vedadi Dushprape Padam Vedanti. What he says that? Acharya, Acharan, Dharma. You can do as much following your occupational duties, Varnashram Dharma. We say that in Veda, we say that you should do Varnashram Dharma and become perfect. But it says here that you can do as much Acharan or Varnashram Dharma or Paricharya Vishnu. You worship Vishnu worship for millions of lifetimes also, it says that. Vishnu worship. Then it says that you can Vicharan Tirthani. Which run, what do devotees go to uh, Tirth to purify themselves, right? So you can do as many Tirths, millions of Tirths are there in India, Bharat Loka, and you can do as much as possible. And you can which run Vedas also. You can read the Vedas scrutinizingly, Shruti Vedas, everything. But it says that, Vinana Gaur Priya Pad Seva. That means those devotees who are very close to Lord Gauranga or who's always mesmerized in thinking about Lord Gauras and singing the bhajan, the kirtan of that. If you don't get their mercy, then what happens? Vedadi Dushprapya Padam Vidanti. Dushprapya means very difficult. You cannot understand the secret of loving relationship of Radha and Krishna. What we are doing here is that's what we're doing. We're associating with each other and we're singing these glories of uh, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu among association. And this is the proof that when we do that, then we can easily understand Radha Krishna Bhava for that one. Then next one is even more stronger and more strong. It says that Upasatam va Guru Varya Koti Adhyatam va Shruti Shastra Koti Chaitanya Karunaya Kataksha Bhajan Sadhyam Paramsyadhi Rahasya Lava It said Upasatam va Guru Varya You can worship millions of Gurus all the time. Adhyatam Shruti Shastra Shruti and Shastra you worship there also. But unless what it says Chaitanya Karuna Kataksha Bhajan. Those devotees who have got the sidelong merciful glance of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu are gurus. If you don't get them, you cannot do achieve anything else there. So it is so important that these gurus are coming here and their merciful glance is already there, empowered by Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. That's why they came here. And through their mercy, we can get empowered for that one. Then it says that Sarva Sadhana Hino Pipa Param Ashara Vabhave. Goranga Niyasabhavo Ye Sarvata Puranhi. It says that even a degraded person like myself, anybody else, who's completely devoid of any desires for this life, previous life, or many, many lives of worshiping Lord Goranga Mahaprabhu, if he gets just absorbed in the shelter of Lord Goranga Mahaprabhu, then his life can become complete perfect. And then um, after that, it says that Lord Goranga Mahaprabhu has come in this one. 
and what he's done avteen gora chandre vistina prem sagare avteen he's avteen gora chandra the lotus moon of lord gora chandra has come here and what he's done vistina prem sagare that ocean of uh, love which is already there uh, infinite ocean love he expanded further infinity you cannot expand further but lord gora chandra has this potency that that ocean of love unlimited love, love of radha krishna he expanded further and what he did suprasha prakashit ratnage yad deen heena hevasa what it is ratna ratna is uh, uh, ornaments or jewels so what he has done with his transcendental effulgence in the ocean if you see an ocean in the bottom there are a lot of jewels and ornaments are there millions of very very valuable thing so what he has done that ocean of uh, prem love of prem in the bottom of that was prem of radha krishna was there what gora chandra he had obtained came down and with his effulgence with his love of prem he has opened that pandora's box of love of god of radha krishna without that we could go to any sampradaya shri sampradaya all of them you cannot get love of god only we are fortunate brahma advi gauri sampradaya fortunate but mercy guru that we can understand that treasure house and what i see the treasure here is the culmination of all the perfection for that one and then he says that uh, the next one he says that vanchot tasmi vanchot tasmi vanchit asmi sanshaya vishwam gaura rasa magna sparsho api mam na bhavat he said i have been greatly deprived i have been greatly deprived of what i have been cheated because i wasn't there when lord gaura chandra was here and because of that i have been deprived of this love of god which lord gaura chandra was praying to everybody that time but even though i have not been touched by those waves but those waves have sent as gurus and through them we can are connecting with gaura chandra as long as the faith is sincere in guru as long as we are not doing any offenses then those waves will take us to the center of the ocean where gaura chandra is there for that one and then the last one will say it's, it's my favorite it says kala kari valina indriya vairi varga shri bhakti marga hi kantak kothi rudda ha ha kwayami viklam ke maham karomi chaitanya chandra yadi nadya kripam karoshi it says that this kala this is kali yuga this time is kali yuga's worst time because is always all quarrels this call between husband wife kids brothers and they all trying to unsurp each other let, let them down so what is done in this kala is bali now is very powerful this kali yuga is very powerful because lord krishna is not here so it become very powerful and what it does does enemies of us who are the enemies of us are the sense creative senses so senses of team with all other enemies which are lust anger greed and they all have come together and overpowering our devotional service for that not even that okay you said okay they're all powering but we can take different bhakti marks we can do that he said no that bhakti mark is also full of pseudo gurus there's so many gurus pseudo interpretations impersonalism all the stuff there that if you don't get a right association you can get misled completely for that one so first we have our indriya senses are so strong then our lust anger envy is so strong and then bhakti process there no surety just imagine of billions of people i was thinking that how many krishna conscious devotees are there very few because everybody else has gone to this different bapus asaram bapus some how many bapus are there and they are associate with them so they have been deprived of all these great opportunities only few devotees are there for that he says so then he said the author says that i have i when will i get this chance that i have been deprived and i have been heen i have been this whole my devotional service blocked by this millions of anartha which i have done anartha is in terms of uh, offenses to other gurus anartha in terms of all vaishnavas and i have been deprived because these are like weeds which has covered me completely and through the weed i cannot see the creeper of love so i have been deprived all the stuff there oh lord goranga mahaprabhu or oh, the devotees of lord goranga mahaprabhu when will you come when will you come and give me this bhakti and remove all the sweets so that my pure devotional service come forward and i become a servant in the shishi in the lotus feet of shri radha and krishna for that so this is lord gora chandra's uh, mercy itself and it was, i was reading somewhere i think one of the acharya varga said that we are very fortunate that you know radha krishna is not easy to get into there but through gora chandra we can get radha krishna but it's not easy to get lord gora chandra also but through nityananda we can get lord gora chandra so that's why nita and gora together on this day we celebrate this wonderful gora chandra festival among all the devotees thank you so much
My pleasure. Hare Krishna. Hare Gauracandraya Radhikaya Tadalaya Krishnaya Krishna Bhaktaya Tada Bhaktaya Namo Namo Agyarati Mirandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chakshurin Militam Jena Tasmai Shri Guru Ve Namaha <coughs> Vande ham shri guru varam shri dupanu ga pravaram Pradara sarasi gamcha narayaram tam prabhan Shri guru charanam vande ramana pristaya bhutale Rupanu ga bhakti damcha kripa murti narayana Seva kunje praje ranye govardhane giro sada Radha kunde rasadande tat tat seva pradayakam Gurung narayana kyang sang vande vino da prishtakam Yat pāra smriti matre na damodāra prasidati Nama Vishnu padaya krishna pristaya bhutale shramate bhakti veranta swamini tina Nama Mahavadanyaya krishna pema pradayate krishnaya krishna chetanya namne gauratya shenam Shama sundar shikanda shekara smeraha samurali manohara Radhikara Sikamam Kripadidi Svapriya Charanam Kinkarim Kuru Aho Bhagyam Aho Bhagyam Nanda Gopa Prajokasam Yanvitram Paramanandam Purnam Brahma Sanatanam Bajami Radham Maravindanetram Smarami Radham Madhurasmitasmi Vadami Radham Karuna Bharadram Tato Mamanya Stiga Kirna Kati Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhunita Nanda Shri Advaita Gadadhara Shri Vasari Gaurabhakta Vrinda Everyone Bolo Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ramo Hare Ramo 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 Hare Hare Shri Guru Deva Ki Jai Shri Prabhupar Ki Jai Samastha Rupanu Gaudiya Guru Varga Ki Jai Saparsha Shri Prabhupar Ki Jai Gornitaranda Prabhu Ki Jai Shri Shri Radhar Manju Ki Jai 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 Shri Radhe Jai Jai Shri Radhe Hare Krishna Thank you all for coming. Very blessed to be here, amongst you all, in, under the shelter of our beloved Sri Sri Radha Manju, Guruji Maharaj, the Prabhupada, and Guru Varga. Praying to always remain under their shelter. Last night we spoke about how to be in Gaur Lila now. Because Gaur Lila is happening now. Adhyapya selila kore goro rai, kono kono bhagyavan deki barabai. Sastra, our acharyas say, those pastimes of Gaur Lila that happened before, Adhyapya selila kore goro rai, they are still going on. 
Those who are fortunate can witness this. Those who are more fortunate can participate in this. It's according to our vision. Therefore we pray. Kripa kori maya jalu tai drakon Anki deki subi shalit in maya bhuan O maya devi, mother, please. Now you should lift up the veil of maya from my eyes so that I can see the Lord's transcendental abode and his pastimes. So our Guru Varga, they are participating in Gaur Lila because as we've heard from our Acharyas, they are Gaur Parshad, associates of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. And their movement is continuing. And his movement is continuing. And so we are praying to have the fortune to participate in that Gaur Lila. What is the significance of Gaur Lila? Krishna's pastimes are Madhurya, very sweet. Gaur's pastimes are Audharya, very magnanimous. So we want to increase our magnanimity. Open our heart. Srila Prabhupada said, I have made a house the whole world can live in. Look at his broadness, his magnanimity. This is Gaur Lila. Let everyone take opportunity. Take advantage of this opportunity of the human form of life in this Danya Kali, glorious age. Danya Kali, Jugara Chaitanya Avatar. This age is very glorious. Danya Kali. Why? Because Chaitanya Avatar. Therefore, we should not be hopeless. Our Gurudev would say, you should be very strong in your bhakti. So strong that if a mountain of obstacles comes in front of you, in front of you, you'll smash it to pieces and go forward in your path. Be fearless. How can we be fearless? When we make our heart one with our Guru Varga, by serving their Manobishta, their heart's desire, then we can make our heart one with them. When we become Guru Devatatma, heart one with Guru, then Bayam, fear goes away. So you can say, how to make my heart one with Guru? We sing, Koro More Atma Sat, make me with you. Kripa Bindu Diya, Koro E Dasi. Bestow upon me humility, tolerance. O oh, Guru Dev, give me these qualities, please. I'm praying to you. Then I can be with you. Otherwise, I'm near you, but I can be like a mosquito near you. <laughs> I don't want to be like that, a fly, a mosquito. Guru Dev, I want to be your Das and Das, your servant of your lotus feet. Koro More Atma Sat. Make me Guru Deva Tatma. So then we can be fearless in our bhakti. And then we sing to Guru Dev, Kabe Mor Karuna Prakashe. O oh, Guru Dev, Kabe Mor, when will your Karuna, your mercy Prakashe, manifest before me? When will, your, when will Guru Dev's mercy be upon us? Jai Goranga Lila, when Goranga Lila manifests before our eyes. Nidaya, Dvaita, Gadadhar, Srivas, and all the bhaktas dancing in Nam Sankirtan, in Srivas Angan, in the towns and in the streets of Navadvip, in Jagannath Puri. So we're praying to Gurudev, please give me darshan of Gaur Lila. We must serve Radha Krishna through Goranga Mahaprabhu. Therefore, our Thakurji Radha Raman, they're also Goranga. Why? Goranga complexion. <laughs> Gorangi, Goranga. Radha Krishna. Gurudev said we should not make rasabhas. So that's one point. Gurudev said once. What does it mean to be Gaur Bhakta? Gaur Bhakta is serving in Dasya Ras. Always the servant. And Dasya Ras is the continuing principle in all the rasas. Whatever ras, you can be serving in Sakya Ras, Vatsali Ras, Madhurya Ras, Dasya Ras, Santa Ras. But service is the continuing thread. It's always there. But in Gaur Lila especially, we serve as Dasya. Mahaprabhu taught us to pray. Naham vipro na pivaishyo na sudro na hang varni na chakriha patir na vanastri yatir va kintu prodyan na gila paramarthi tamanyo. Gopi bhartu parakamalayor das das na das. I am the servant of the servant of the servant of that Krishna, the beloved of the gopis. The service mood. So we serve Gauranga in the mood of Dasya. But the speciality of Mahaprabhu is that by worshipping him and also worshipping Gornitai, then we can 
ultimately also have the opportunity to serve in Braj Lila. <clears throat> as well as Gaur Lila. This is the Vaishista speciality of Gaudiya Vaishnavas. That we can both participate in Gaur Lila and Braj Lila. But if you want to serve in Braj Lila but not serve Goranga in this age, not possible. And if you want to serve Goranga, you must serve Nityananda, as we heard Prabhu say. Therefore, Nityananda, what did he sing? Mahaprabhu said, Suno Suno Nityananda, Suno Harida, Samaragyai, Kuro Sarvatra Prakash, Gare Gare Jao, Mange Bhiksha, Bolo Krishna, Baja Krishna, Kuro Krishna, Shiksha. Go house to house. Speak about Krishna, sing about Krishna, teach Krishna's instructions. Go everywhere, every town and village, every town and city. This is our mandate. People say, why did you come to this place? Mahaprabhu said every town and village, so start somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> but what did Nitinanda Prabhu do? Mahaprabhu, his leela is very interesting. On one hand, he's very hidden. On one hand, he's very powerful, like a lion, like the blazing sun. On one hand, he says, no, no, no. Anyone says you are like great, like Bhagavan, he says, no, 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 this is like, he would cover his ears. Don't say that. This is hurting me. Pain to my heart. No, 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 I am Das. Why? Because he said, in this age, I'm coming as the Das. I'm coming to show the importance. Many avatars have come, but still jivas are Buddha, conditioned. I need to come and teach them the importance of devotion and bhakti and service. That is the principle of the jiva, seva. Seva nam bhakti ruchyate sarva upadi vinirmuktam tat paratvena nirmalam hrishikena hrishikesha seva nam bhakti ruchyate seva is bhakti, but with the proper mood. Anya bilashta shunyam jnana karmadyanabhritam anukulena krishnanushila nam bhakti rutama Service with the right mood, favorably, trying to please the object of one's love, then this is bhakti. So we are trying to engage in that way. <clears throat> so Mahaprabhu came. Very mercifully he appeared. And we are very fortunate to have the opportunity to serve him <laughs> by serving his associates <clears throat> and by serving the devotees. This is also very important. <clears throat> when we chant the Panchatattva Mantra before doing Japa, and in all our kirtans, what do we sing? Who knows? Polo Shri Krishna, Chaitanya, Prabhu Nityananda, Shri Advaita, Gadadhar, Shivasati, Gauda Bhakta Vrinda. Who are the Gauda Bhakta Vrindas? The Vrinda means the collection, the congregation of devotees. They are Gauda Bhakta Vrinda. So if you want to approach Shri Krishna Chaitanya, first you have to approach Gauda Bhakta Vrinda. All the devotees. Our Gurudev would say, as you advance in bhakti, you'll become more and more magnanimous and more and more broad-minded. Kanishta devotee thinks, are they in my group or not? Are they, you know, the first Namaparad is what? To criticize devotees who are spreading the names of the Lord. It doesn't say which group of devotees. <laughs> <laughs> All devotees. Gorda Bhakta Vrinda. So therefore, you must stay very careful. Sadhu Sabdan, be very careful. Develop this broadness of vision. The Uttam, the topmost devotee, sees everyone is in the family of Krishna. Vasudeva Kutumbakam. Everyone is in the family of Krishna. And therefore, they try to help them. Janma Sartha Kori, Kurupara Upakar. How can they awaken to their pure consciousness or Krishna consciousness? Srila Prabhupada established ISKCON based on the mood of Srila Rupa Swami in the verse Krishna Bhakti Rasa Bhavita Mati Kriyatam Jati Kuto Vilabhyate Tatra Lolyam Mati Mulyam Ekalam Janma Koti Sukriter Nalabhyate. How can we develop consciousness imbued with attachment to Sri Krishna? Krishna consciousness. Krishna Bhakti Rasa Bhavita Mati. How can our mind be? Always absorbed in Sri Krishna. Therefore, we must become greedy for Sadhu Sangha. Sadhu Sangha, Sadhu Sangha, Sarva Sastri Koi, Lava Matra, Sadhu Sangha, Sarva Siddhi Hoi. And in that Sadhu Sangha, what we do? Nam Kirtan Bhagavat Shravan, Nakurava, Shraddha, Srimur Tirsevan. In association of devotees, we serve Sri Vigraha, we engage in Nam Sankirtan, Bhagavat Prashad Sevan, 
Dam Parikrama, or we establish dams in the West as well. Last night we were talking about this. Srila Prabhupada did not think, oh, the West is a useless barren place. No. Let us go there and fulfill the desire of Mahaprabhu. Then we can become Gurudeva Tatma. When we serve with his magnanimous vision, then we can be in Gaur Lila. And we can come to be able to witness that Gaur Lila. So I want to tell a few childhood pastimes. I said last night we would talk a little bit about Gaur Lila. Just a few brief pastimes. When Mahaprabhu was just, when he appeared, we talked about his appearance a little bit. All the residents of Navadri were chanting, Hari, Hari, Hari. And from the time he was a little baby boy, he would cry, like children cry, but the only way to fix his crying was what? Hari Nam Sankirtan. In this way, Mahaprabhu showed from his very infancy what is his mission here. The mission of our Guru Varga is to increase the chanting of Krishna Nam. Very simply. Our Gurudev said, in this age we can try so hard to do meditation. The real meditation is chanting Hari Nam. By chanting Krishna, 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 automatically your mind must go to Krishna. And if your mind strays, continue chanting Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. So we may just chant Krishna, Krishna, but our mind is unfixed. So what do we do? We pray to also the energy of Krishna. Potency of Krishna. Give us the strength to chant Krishna Nam continuously. Therefore we sing, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, 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 Hare Hare. Oh Krishna, oh Radhe, please. Bring me to your lotus feet. Engage me in your service. So since Mahaprabhu is just a little baby, he would engage in this Nam Sankirtan. Not himself. Uttam, the highest devotee, engages everyone else in chanting. Hare Krishna. The topmost devotee, whoever sees them, begins to chant. It's said that when Mahaprabhu was a little boy, Nimai, all the Deva, Deviti, Devi and Devatas came for his darshan. And they would all give so many gifts. And he was always, whenever he would weep, then they would know. All the ladies would come and do Sankirtan. This is the best process. Arshila Gorgavinda Maharaj would say, I've opened a crying school. So you need to learn to weep and chant. Somehow. Not artificially. Said, oh, tarasmasaram hridayam badedam agiyam anam harinam adayam. I'm chanting harinam, but my heart is not melting. What is that? It has become like a rock. A parad prachur because of so many offenses. So I'm praying to Gurudev, please eradicate these offenses and offensive mentalities in my heart. Let me see all the devotees with equal vision, all living entities with equal vision, and try to serve with that magnanimous spirit that Mahaprabhu came to. To distribute. So one time, Mahaprabhu was a little boy, he was crying, and yet, even though everyone was doing kirtan, he didn't stop crying. One time only. It's very astonishing. Everyone was thinking, it always works, it always works. What's happened this time? What happened? He said to his father, Jagannath Mishra, Hiranya and Jagadish, Jagadish Pandit, they are following a Kadashi very nicely, near to the Kadashi. But how do we follow a Kadashi? A Kadashi, okay, we have some kind of sadhana, some fast for ourselves, but Bhagavan does not fast. So they are following such nice a Kadashi, they are doing Nirja themselves, but for Takaji they have made Chapan Bhok. This is a Kadashi bread, proper. So Mahaprabhu on one hand, he hides himself. On the other hand, he shows himself as Bhagavan. And we see this a lot in his pastimes. When he was a little boy, like Chandri's age maybe, maybe even Charu's age. <laughs> he said, I want that offering, what Hiranya and Jagadish made. Ooh, Hiranya and Jagadish, oh yes, I know them. They live a few villages away. So he went there with his boy. He wouldn't stop crying. He said, no, they've done this for Takaji, not for you. Mahaprabhu insisted. Why? He has to show. He is also Bhagavan, and he must, he has come to accept the offerings of his devotees. 
Hiranya and Jagadish were following Ekadashi so nicely for so long, thinking, will he ever accept from me? And so Jagannath Mishra went with Devi Nimai there, and he said, he is insisting, he won't stop crying until he takes prasad. So we hear lots of pastimes of Mahaprabhu taking prasad with Advaita Acharya, with Sarvabhamata Acharya. Sometimes Mahaprabhu is very shy and humble, only sak, eating a little, like sag vegetables. But to those who have frame, they know. Say Gora, Jay Gora, say Krishna, say Jagannath. When Advaita Acharya was trying to feed Mahaprabhu, Mahaprabhu, he made this whole room full of many, like uh, this said, mand, like hundreds of kilos of rice. With He would put like 20 kilos of ghee on it. And all these vegetable dishes. And Mahaprabhu saw the room and offered dandavat pranams. This is as sannyasi and, and puri. He said, you've made such a nice offering for the Lord. Please now give me a, one banana leaf plate and then a little bit only. And Advaita Acharya said, you cannot trick me now. I have not invited anyone. He said he prayed to Lord Indra. He didn't tell Mahaprabhu, but he prayed to Lord Indra that Mahaprabhu was invited as a sannyasi. But sometimes many sannyasis go together and Mahaprabhu will be shy and not eat nicely. So as Mahaprabhu was coming, he prayed Indra, now make a heavy rainstorm. Like today it was supposed to rain, but Indra did trick us. Supposed to be raining right now, heavy. So he said, okay, nighttime I'll come. Let the devotees come. After they go back, no problem. For those who are staying, no problem. <laughs> so Advaita Chai said, no, today I will feed you myself with my own hands. Advaita Chai was calling for the Lord to appear. Mahaprabhu said, by your roaring, Punkat, the throne of Lord Vishnu in Sveta Dweep was shaking. That Mahavishnu and Sadashiv, Advaita Chari was calling for the Lord. He said, if you don't come, I'll destroy everything. It's useless without you. So Mahaprabhu came and said, I haven't had the chance to feed you to my heart's content. Why I'm senior, you're always respecting and honoring me, trying to serve me. Advaita Charya is Acharya. But this time he said no. And he forced him and he had the whole room of Prashad. And he said, why? Jai Gaura, say Krishna, say Jagannath. That Gaura is Krishna, that Krishna is Jagannath. So you are non-different from Jagannath. Are you telling me you are very eating a little bit? Oh, just a little bit. But I know every day you're eating a whole room full of prasad. So this is nothing for you. I'm very poor. I'm a poor Brahmin. So I can only give you a little prasad. But every day I know as Jagannath, you're eating a room full of prasad. In Jagannath Puri, they cook for 10,000 people every day. And Jagannath eats everything. So Advaita Charya fed Mahaprabhu like that. And Mahaprabhu is satisfied by his devotion. So in the same way, when he was a little boy, he ate so much prasad. How is it possible? Anakadashi. So some people say, Anakadashi, should we give Gornitai grains? Our Guru Maharaj should say yes. Because we are worshipping Archa Vigraha as Bhagavan. And also as Lord Anga. Not as Sanyasi, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Our mood is Sri Krishna Chaitanya, Sanyasi. But Archa Vigraha, Gornitai, Goranga. Let him... on. At Kadashi day, he will also take. In his, but in his Leela, he only took during Akadashi when he was a little boy. Later on, after a few years, he told Mother Sachi, Oh, Mother, will you grant me one wish? It's always dangerous when someone asks for a boon. Like when Nityananda was a boy, Sanyasi came and asked, Could I bund it? Oh, we had such a nice program. Please, will you give me one boon? Yes, yes, yes. You promise? Yes, yes, yes. Give me your son. Oh. That Hadai Pandit, who is none other than Dasarath, had to part with his Nidai. So be very careful if Sadhu comes and says, Oh, nice program. Just can you give me one boon, please? Small. Like Vam and Dev. Why Krishna is Tere and his devotees is also Tere. <laughs> Krishna is crooked, his devotees also know how to be crooked. Why, when Vam and Dev came, oh, just three steps of land, just three steps, very little boy. <laughs> but he covered the whole Brahmanda. But he asked Sachimata for a very simple boon. He said, please follow Ekadashi. Therefore, for Vaishnavas, Ekadashi is very important. Bhaktivinoda Thakur sings, Shuddha Vakata Charanarenu Bhajana Anukula Bhakata Seva Parama Siddhi Prem Lati Paramula By Serving the devotees, engaging in Nam Sankirtan, worshipping Tulasi, 
sing, worshiping the deities. This is how we follow Ekadashi, by, by fasting from grains, then Krishna is very pleased. So he asked Mother Sachi, please follow Ekadashi. And she, her whole life, followed. And so as Gora Bhaktas, it's very important. Also, Prajabhas, as we hear, Nanda Baba would follow Ekadashi. So Ekadashi is very important for Gaudiya Vaishnavas. Bhakti Janani, Jatani Palana Kori. Madhavatiti, Bhakti Janani, Jatani Palana Kori. As nicely as we follow Madhavatiti, Akarashi, our Guru would say Madhavatiti is non different from Krishna. Therefore, it's Madhavatiti. The day of Krishna. So Akarashi is so merciful, Janmasthani comes once a year. Akarashi comes 24, sometimes 25 times a year. So Krishna comes again and again. And on those days, what do we do? Shri Hari Vasare Hari Kirtana Nidan, Nitta Arambila Guru Bhakatira Pran. And Akarashi, what do we do? How do we follow Akarashi? Akarashi doesn't just mean fasting. Akarashi means feasting in the holy names. So we limit our sense engagement so that we can increase our spiritual, nourish our spiritual senses. They say there's two dogs living in the heart. The good one and the bad one. Who's going to win? They're always fighting. Whoever you feed more. So we want to feed the good dog in us. How do we do that? Harinam Sankirtan. This is the best prasad. Not the best prasad only, the best weapon. Krishna Varnam Pisha Krishnam Sangopan Gastra Parshadam Yajya Sankirtana Praya Yajanti Hi Sumena Sashma Bhagavatam 11th Canto. Naraji says to Vasudev, in this age of Kali, this personality who will come is Krishna Varnam, always chanting Krishna, Krishna. And he is Krishna Varnam Pisha Krishnam, A Krishnam, golden. What is he doing? Yajna Sankirtana Praya, always engaged in the Sankirtan Yajna. Therefore, this is our most important limb of our practice, Sankirtan. If Sankirtan is there, everything will be successful in the temple. If Kirtan is there, and also we should understand Harikata is Kirtan. Harikata is a limb of Kirtan. Our Guruji Maharaj would say, the best Kirtaniya is Sukadev Goswami. Best Kirtaniya is Sukadev Goswami. Our Bhakti Siddhanta Prabhupada would say, our dharma is to be the theons or the messengers of this message of Vaikuntha. In this way we are Kirtaniyas and we'll go all over the world spreading this Krishna Kirtan. This Harikata serves Krishna Kirtan and is Krishna Kirtan. So on Akarashi, Mahaprabhu engaged all the devotees in Sankirtan. The whole day and night. In this way, since he was, you know, he started out in his, when he was a little boy, he went through different stages of life. As a little boy, he was very naughty. Like Krishna. People say Krishna was, oh, when he spoke Bhagavad Gita, he was good, mature. But Brajmi kya karate? What was he doing in Braj? All these pastimes, some pundits say. They say, this is different Krishnas. Oh, in Kurukshetra, Kshatriya, speaking Bhagavad Gita, this is good. Krishna playing in Braj, rolling naked in the mud. Mother Yashoda dresses him very nicely. And then what does he do? He runs out and he rolls in the mud in the dust of Braj. Mother Yashoda says, Baba, I just spent four hours dressing you. <laughs> and now you've ruined everything. Why? He said, this Leela have come for what? Asamaho, Charana, Renu, Jusama, Hamsham, Brindavan, Ekimati, Golvan, Atosha, Dinam, Yadju, Sadam, I've come only for this dust of branch. That's why every day Krishna goes on Gocharan, covers himself in the dust of branch. But people think, no, Krishna in speaking Bhagavad Gita, that is the best Krishna. This Braj Krishna, dancing with the wives of other men, ba ba ba, chi 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 chi. <laughs> Stealing the clothes of the gopis, chi 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 chi. Kya baat? This is not good. But what did Mahaprabhu teach? Aradyo Bhagavan Pradesha Tanayasta Dhamma Brindavanam Ramya Kachidu Pasna Pradjavadu Vakena Yakalpita Srimad Bhagavatam Mahar Prema Pumarto Mahan Sri Chaitanya Matamadam Tatra Dharona Paraha. This is the conception of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Aradyo Bhagavan, who is the worshipful Bhagavan? Pradesha Tanayas. That son of Nanda, Krishna, Prajindra Nandan. And who is the best? What is the best form of worship? Those Prajagopis who are serving Krishna with so much selfless love, completely dedicating everything. 
ಮತಿ ಸುತನ್ವಯ ಭ್ರಾತೃ ಬಂಧವ ನತಿ ವಿಲಂಗ್ಯತೆ ಅಂತ ಚುತಾಗತ ಗತಿಕ ರಸ್ತವ ಗೀತ ಮೋಹಿತ ಕಿವತ ಯೋಷಿತ ರಸ್ತೆ ಬೆಂಬಲಿಸಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಆಫ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಕೃಷ್ಣ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಎವಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ಭಾಗವತಂ ಪ್ರಮಾಣ ನಮಲ ಅಂತ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ಭಾಗವತಂ ಇಸ್ ದ ಹೈಯೆಸ್ಟ್ ಎವಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ದ ಹೈಯೆಸ್ಟ್ ಪುರಾಣ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಕನ್ಸೆಪ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಹಾಪ್ರಭು ಸೊ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಮಹಾಪ್ರಭು ಕೇಮ್ ಟು ಟೀಚ್ ಅಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟು ಎಂಗೇಜ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ ಥ್ರೂ ನಾಮ್ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನ್ ಪ್ರೈಮರಿಲಿ ನಾಮ್ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನ್ ಇಸ್ ಡನ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಮ್ಯಾನಿಫೆಸ್ಟ್ ವೈ ಕಲಿ ಯುಗ ಕೇವಲ ನಾಮ ಅಧಾರ ದ ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ನಾಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬೈ ಸರ್ವಿಂಗ್ ನಾಮ್ everything will manifest what did shri prabhu do how did this come manifest he sat down and did krishna kirtan but not just that naam sankirtan yasya krishna sankirtan that's veena shakti nahi tara pravartana without krishna shakti nahi tara pravartana krishna naam sankirtan will not spread so therefore shri prabhu you see our guru dev maharaj say he shakti vesh avatar why look at this accomplishment this is because of krishna shakti but the principle was hari naam sankirtan then temple established big festivals big occasions big so many prachar prashad distribution book distribution but sankirtan if we give up sankirtan give up kirtan everything will be lost this is our dharma mahaprabhu taught this naam sankirtanam yasya shrimad bhagavat teaches this vedanta sutra anavrti shabda anavrti shabda we must serve transcendental sound sankirtan this is our yuga dharma so when mahaprabhu was like this as a little boy he was very naughty he would go to the ganga and when the brahmins were doing their mantra in the sitting in the water of the ganga he would go under fill his mouth up with water come out and spit it all in their face oh I, my mantra is ruined he would go on the banks of the ganga and ladies would dress, the ladies bathe in india like a 100 yards separate area far away when they were bathing like krishna was chirharan lila he would also do chirharan lila he would take all the brahmins and the pandas cloth and take it to the ladies section and all the ladies cloth bring it to the men section hari bol satnanand gol hari ki very naughty when the little girls were doing puja for a good husband It had many offerings he would go there and sit by force when he's like five years old and start eating everything and say worship me and they would go and complain to him they said don't complain you complain i'll curse you i'm a brahmin <laughs> you'll have ugly husbands no money and 20 co-wives <laughs> worship me So on this way Goranga he shows on one hand how he's Bhagavan on the other hand oh, and that's like at Vita Chai said I call your bluff. Oh I eat a little bit. He said every day I know how much you're eating. So take prasad. So Mahaprabhu in his childhood he would also go like Krishna the Sakas. He would go and break people's banana tree plants and go in their homes and disturb everything. So people think is this good? No no later oh Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Sanyasi when he was a child i don't know what happened <laughs> same thing with krishna lord brahma himself couldn't understand krishna my bhagavan is vishnu narayana no, oh he's good who is this krishna juta hatse kare <laughs> eating with a remnant's hand with his left hand and taking from the hands of his friends and taking the ladu from their mouth and eating it but that krishna is our bhagavan why in that world we're only our only The thing we value most is our relationship with Krishna. Above and beyond everything. So we must try to approach and enter that sweet pastime. Mahaprabhu is showing. It said that Chaitanya Leela Pura, Krishna Leela Sukar Pura, Du Himili Hai Su Madhurya, Sadhu Guru Prashade, Taha Yaya Swade, Se Jane Madhurya Prachurya. Chaitanya Leela Mritta Pura, it's like the most concentrated nectar. Krishna Leela Sukar Pura and Krishna is the Leela is the most sweet like camphor and honey and ghee mixed together the perfect elixir do he mili hoy when they two mix Krishna Leela and Gaur Leela sumadurya is the most sweet so how do we relish that Gaur Leela Krishna Leela sadhu guru prashade by the mercy of sadhu guru taha ye ashware then we can relish this Krishna and Gaur Leela se jane madurya prachurya then we can understand 
the abundance of Madhurya or sweetness in Gaurdiva and Krishna Lila. So therefore we pray to Sri Guru. Hey Sri Guru Gyanada Dina Bandhu Swananda Data Karunai Krasindu Brindavana Sinahitavatara Prasiddha Radha Pranaya Prachar Oh Guru, Gurudev, Gyanada, you give me this transcendental knowledge of Krishna Lila Gaurlila. Dina Bandhu, you are the friend of the fallen. Swananda Data, you are always absorbed in the own bliss of your transcendental pastimes. Karunaika Sindhu, you are the ocean of mercy. Vrindavan Asina, you have come from Vrindavan, that transcendental abode. Hit Avatara, you are the incarnation of the welfare of the whole world. Prasiddha, therefore you are glorious. Evijas, we should give one, and I will spread your glories. Radha Pranaya Prachara, you have come to distribute this glorious Shumati Radhika's love. Shirad Haya Pranaya Mahima Kitri Sovane Yayuva Swadhyo Yirad Bhutta Madhuri Makitri Sovamadiya Sokyam Chasya Mara Nubhavata Kitri Sambeti Loba Tad Pavadya Samajani Satchi Garva Sindhu Hari Hindu. That Satchi Nandan Gaur Hari has appeared in the ocean like womb of Mother Satchi to relish this Bhakti Ras and to distribute it all over the world. Therefore, we have that opportunity to participate in that Leela of Satchi Nandan Gaur Hari by also serving our Guru Varga and all Vaishnavas and all devotees. And in this way, very happily, we can go back home, back to God. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Arshila Gurudev, Arshila Prabhupada would say, this process is very blissful. Bhakti Pareshanu Bhava Virakti Ranyatra. As you develop in bhakti, more and more taste will come and dissatisfaction with this world, distaste for things of this world will increase. More and more you'll want to be in Sadhu Sangha, be in Nam Kirtan hearing Bhagavad Gita, serving Takaji, taking prasad, and this is our life. This is our life. This is our vrat. Be with devotees. Serve devotees. Bhakta Seva. This is the most pleasing thing to the Lord. Bhakta Seva. Mahaprabhu said, Nirantar koro naam sevan, ar koro vaishnav sevan. Nirantar koro naam kirtan, Continuously perform Nam Kirtan, Ar, and Vaishnav Sevan, Sir Vaishnavs. Dvi Kare Sikra Bhave Krishna Charan. By doing these two things very quickly, you'll achieve the lotus feet of Sri Krishna. So, therefore, Bhakta Seva and Krishna Nam. This is our process, this is our method, this is our aspiration. So, I'm praying to Srila Gurudev, praying to the Vaishnavs for their mercy that. In this life, I may serve them continuously. As we say, as the Prabhupada said, purity is the force, right? So how much we increase our purity, I've been saying, to become pure, we must perform tapas. Tapas means seva, surrender. This is tapasya, surrendering and serving. How can I be engaged at every moment in service? And Krishna says, Yat Parosi Yat Asnaas Yat Shahosi Dvasi Yat Yat Tapasyasi Kunti Yat Tat Guru Spamad Arpanam Do everything for me, whatever you do, then it can become bhakti. So we try to become like that, engaged, and try some way. Mahaprabhu is the incarnation of magnanimity. So he's not just here for ourselves, we're not here for ourselves. We practice ourselves, but apane achare kare na kare prachar, prachar kare na kare na kare achar, achar prachar, Tumi Kuraho, Tumi Sardava Guru, Tumi Jagatera Arya. Sanatana Goswami glorified Haridas Thakur said, You are Namacharya. Why? Some people practice but don't preach. Some people preach but don't practice. But you perfectly practice and perfectly preach. Therefore, Tumi Jagatera Arya, you are the topmost human being. Tumi Sardava Guru, you are the Guru of all beings. So therefore, we're praying to be engaged in this service to whatever capacity. We all have the qualification to serve. Because this is our constitutional right. It's our constitutional nature. So we serve Mahaprabhu according to the direction and instructions of our Guru Varga. And in this way, we can be connected to their Leela eternally.